listen, I know you guys don't understand why this is happening, but I assure you, it's a style. It's a style from India because of the theme of where I bought this book from India. Hello everybody and welcome back to Nervous Reviews, where Nervous Reviews books. Now this is a self-help book that I read a little bit ago, I think it was a month or two ago, and I haven't gotten around to reviewing it. Why? It takes a little bit of time to digest. It takes a little bit of time. It's a little thick of a book. The chapters are really short, but there's a lot of chapters. It's really interesting. And so, I'm gonna review it. Shout out to Mama and Three Baby. One baby, two baby, three baby. Three babies. Shout out. Let's go. Now don't worry, this is gonna be a short baby review. I'll tell you what you need to know and you can go. First thing, awesome writer. Quick, to the point. You get it done. You learn something. You get out. Most of the stuff is really good points. Very individual. You don't get the same points overlapping with other points. You don't get like the same thing over and over again They're very individual you get very separate points except for a few specific times And you can tell by the middle of the book that he's kind of not having that many points So he's kind of mixing them together and essentially there's a couple points in a row that are basically the same thing But starting at the beginning and more most of the way throughout the entire book They're very very individualistic, but because of the, the amount the sheer amount of stuff that's going on he had no choice but to like include extra facts and although personally i thought that they were the exact same thing i guess he didn't because he kind of put them into different things so i feel like it's a very different reading experience for every single person that's another commandment it's very good for different people it's one of those books where every new person who reads it will pick up something new it's very cool like that i really like the layout of this book it's very very short the chapters are like one page two pages very extremely short with so many little you know rules in between and i really like that because i just sat down like at my bed i don't usually read that often anymore in bed so when i sat down at bed I was about to sleep you know it's late it's like 1 a.m. I gotta sleep I gotta go to school how about just like one chapter it'll take like one minute so why not so that's what I did and that's why I read so much I read it in like a couple of days now a lot of the stuff is like a lot of stuff that you think about but you don't really think about it if that makes sense you, you know it without being told however it, it takes something to like be written down for you to really understand it and to really internalize what it's talking about and then you can actually utilize that sense of advice very effectively in the world it's very cool like that sometimes there's a lot of social skills it's a lot of business skills that i really like because it's a very wide array of people who can actually make use out of it because it's not a very niche topic it's a very broad broad topic that literally anyone can read and get used out of i really like the references that he made because he talks about like personal anecdotes of other people and it's really really effective because all these things that other people did you can really see how they work out and you can really see that isolated factor of they changed this one thing and or they had this one thing that you don't and so because of that one thing they were able to succeed in a way you don't and it's really interesting to see that because very few other self-help books have the sheer amount of stories like every single point has a story and it's very interesting in that way every single point of all like the 50 points there's like an individual story for each and every one of them that really well like it, it shows it and highlights it extremely well for each of these. Now there was a couple points here and there where I was like, yeehaw, I don't actually agree with that. It was right at the beginning where Dave Carnegie introduced somebody. He was like this one dude way back in the party and he was arguing with this other dude and they were like, oh, is this a Shakespeare quote or is it not? Now this one guy who was arguing that it was a Shakespeare quote went and asked somebody else, the Shakespeare expert, and the Shakespeare expert said, nah, it's not a Shakespeare quote. However, the thing was, it was a Shakespeare quote and when he asked later on, it was like, well, I didn't want to start an argument in the middle of a party where we we're supposed to be friends, and I don't agree with that, and I feel like it doesn't stack up to today's morals, so I would just wipe that off. Personally, I don't agree with that at all, because I'm like, truth is probably a little bit better than that, but, like, I still went with it. Or you could just agree with it, or and listen, because, I mean, it wouldn't take anything away from your life if you do do that. It's just, it feels like a little bit outdated for today's morals, so I would, I would stand off that, but, you know, do what you like. So, other than a few outdated ideas, I don't really have too much fault with it. I think that it is a great book. I think it's a lot of small tips that is not a big read. This isn't something that's going to change your life but something that's going to increase it and make it a little bit better in very small incremental ways if you just take a look take a listen consider all of these tips it might be a little bit of help to you so that's my review i rate this book i don't know i think it's uh, i think i read like four four out of five probably or five out of one of those four five, yeah i'll say right there that's my rating thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya